And what I'm seeing, what I'm reading on Twitter especially, there are loads of people who are really mad because Madonna is going to perform there, so... Uh, Life is a and I think it's very unfair because uh, Madonna, she, she is part of the gay culture. A lot of things that we have nowadays inside gay community, I think we owe not only Madonna, for example, but um, Cindy Lauper, because they were the first ones to stand out for, for, for LGBT community. People are very peak only because of her voice, because she doesn't have a great voice. I agree, she doesn't have a great voice. She sings well. I like some of her songs and uh, I think she did it quite well in many live performances, you know. As I told her, I watched two of her concerts. But I think music is not only about the singer, it's not only about sing well. I think it must have something more than this to inspire people and to motivate people. And uh, it's good to see someone like Madonna standing out for many things, standing out for LGBTs, standing out for women, standing out, standing out for black people. For example, like a prayer video, it's, it's amazing. If you don't know this music video, I'm gonna post here in the cards because she's going to perform this song uh, on, uh, on Eurovision tomorrow. So I think people are missing this. People are being very picky. I, I'm seeing, I talk about those people on Twitter. They are, they are commenting, they are retweeting, and they are, there is a, a long thread. It's opinions, they are their opinions. If they don't like, what can we do, you know? But um, I think it's very unfair. They are, they are really missing some points, you know? Uh, Eurovision is very huge for gay community. And liking or not, she is part of the gay community. You know, she is part of the gay culture. The history of both are, you know, really tied. They are really mixed. I don't know where I should start this, but uh, anyways, I'm Clayton Kristen. All right, so these videos you have seen, I recorded on Friday, on the 17th, uh, before the Eurovision, the world that happened on Saturday, uh, the 18th, all right? So, um, I mean, first of all, I, I have absolutely no regrets of, uh, of, about what I said, because, I mean, if you watch, we are very used to watch Madonna's live concerts and, you know, she's she been to many um, awards like uh, um, Video Music Awards, Europe Music Awards, both from, from MTV, you know. <clears throat> sometimes she limp sings, some, sometimes she sings live. And uh, I can tell, I think from, at least from 2000 or 2003, 2004, you know, from there, from there on, you know, uh, she's been singing, you know, I mean, the quality of her life singing, it's it's full of ups and downs, you know, I mean, but um, we, we noticed some some small issues when she when she's singing live, you know, but uh, it wasn't that bad because it was so little, you know, it, even though what's happening here and there, you know, some notes all over the place, uh, it was little, you know, not compared what happened on Saturday, unfortunately, yeah. So, uh, so I think I'm gonna separate this video into two, two, two analysis, you know. So the first, it's going to be about about uh, about the singing by itself because I think it's that's the thing that is that is dividing fans. I mean, not only English speakers, you know. I read in some some Brazilian forums, some Brazilian uh, groups on Facebook, uh, um, Brazilian fans, uh, Madonna's Brazilian fans, you know, on Facebook. You know, I think on Twitter as well. Uh, so there's a lot of debate. You no, know, it, it seems that half 
fans like it, how fans are very disappointed, you know. So I'm gonna tell first about the about the voice, about the singing itself. So um, and then I'm gonna, you know, give you my opinion about the overall performance, you know, and the message that I mean nobody seen, nobody saw that, including myself. There is a reason why nobody saw that message, anyways. So uh, as I said, I mean here we were used to we we were we were aware, you know, that Madonna is not a great singer, you know, she doesn't deliver the quality of singing that a, a, that a Beyonce delivers, you know. I mean, Beyonce's singing live, it's like listening to a CD because it's it's flawless. Actually, she has a song called Flawless, you know, I think it represents a lot what, what Beyonce is, you know, I mean, the, the quality of her singing, you know. So we we were aware, all right, so we were expecting some some inaccuracies, you know, when she was singing, very little things, you know, but if you watch uh, her performance that I'm gonna put here on the cards, she performed this very, almost this very same performance uh, one uh, last year on Met Gala uh, in New York. So she started singing like a prayer uh, on the stairs, so on the top of the stairs, basically it was the same, I'm gonna put here, you guys will see. So, um, and she, she, sang, she sang alive, okay, you can notice that she's, she's singing live because you can notice some dynamics when she's singing, you know, um, and, and it was, actually was nice, I mean, it was really nice, so she just had to repeat this year, you know, in, uh, on Eurovision, but uh, something happened, yeah, something happened there, I, when I started watching, I was watching with my partner, and he was saying, yeah, something's gonna happen. I said, shut, shut up, you know, because I remember last year we have some some things. I think there was a guy from Australia, a guy from from the audience. So he, so he he entered in front of the one of the presentations and he showed it his bombs, anyways, yeah. Uh, and there was that situation also with uh, with the British singer that I don't remember. I'm very bad for names, okay, guys. So sorry. So I remember there was the incident with um, with the British singer. The guy I entered in the stage disrupted her her performance in a ways. So me and my partner we were watching, and uh, we <laughs> he was saying that he was expecting something. And I was come on, stop it. Let's be positive, you know. And I was expecting the best. I was expecting the Madonna with with issues and qualities that I, I have always known, you know. But as something happens, it's in the very beginning when she starts singing, yeah? Life is a mystery. So something straight away, you know, start nothing. It's not, it wasn't working, she wasn't delivering the minimal she, she's able to do, you know? And it was, I can confess, guys, I mean, I, I am a huge fan and I, I do respect Madonna as an artist. I do respect everything Madonna has been doing for for more than three decades to know a little bit more than three decades but uh i i just can't guys that that was really bad that was really really bad uh as as i told you in the the previous video i'm not a professional singer but i, I have been singing quite a lot in choirs either in brazil or here in ireland so in brazil i sang for four years in a choir here i sang for I also Three or four years, I don't remember. Uh, three years, actually, on the Dublin Game and Chorus. I still singing, you know, for fun. Um, so I, I, I know the minimum, you know. I know what happens when you uh, maybe you don't warm up your your voice very well. When you, I don't know, you didn't have an, a nice night of sleep. All these factors, you know, uh, can affect your voice, the quality of your singing, you know. She has no, she had no support. She had no breathing, you know. She wasn't delivering the minimum expected for a singer, especially for, for an artist like her. I mean, she, she's, not a, she's not an amateur, she's not, a, she's not a fresh artist, you know. And even if she was, you know, I mean, you can, you can tell for all those artists uh, on Eurovision, all, the, all the, the contestants, you know. I mean, most of, I mean, the majority was really nice. There was some of them who were also, you know, singing flat, but 
I mean, you can expect because they are nervous, you know, and uh, but ma not Madonna, you know, I mean, she was the big, the biggest attraction there, you know, everybody was excited to, to watch her performing, so the impression I have, and uh, I would like to suggest a video of a vocal coach I'm gonna post here, she's, she's brilliant. Um, uh, I forgot her name because I, I found, actually I found her video randomly uh, on the internet and uh, and uh, I mean she she's a professional so she's a vocal coach so I think she she has more you know knowledge to analyze and, and tell things but uh, it sounds like she she hasn't been you know I mean she she says this on the on her video it seems like Madonna is not taking good care of her voice anymore and uh, and for me as an experience you know uh, um, I remember it reminds me when I I wake up and start to sing straight away, you know, basically, you know, with, without doing any warm up, you know, any, you know, um, and when I say warm up, I mean because your voice is your muscle, so you have to warm this up, anyways. So it it, it feel it felt like, you know, it felt like she she hasn't been warming up, that she 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 didn't do the 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 she didn't do the proper preparations to sing and uh, and the result was that you know the result was that and uh, it, it's a bit it is disappointing and I was watching and I was it, it was excruciating you know every note flat you know it was excruciating I was you know almost you know digging myself in, on the coach you know because it was really painful for me to listen to, I mean, to, to her singing that iconic song. It's so important because, I mean, this year, like a prayer is turning, turned actually 30 years. So it should be something to celebrate properly, you know. And uh, so I really don't know what happened. Um, so I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy at all. I uh, was really disappointed. You know, I was and I'm still disappointed. But we have to take a lesson, you know, to learn a lesson about that. And I was saying in the beginning of the video that I don't absolutely don't regret because, as I said, we we, we know we fans we are we are aware that she doesn't deliver the same vocals as Mariah Carey or or Beyonce, you know, Beyonce because Mariah Mariah Carey nowadays she has also some 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 issues on her voice, you know. Um, I mean, I, I like my I like Mariah Carey as well. All right, so let's not fight. Okay, I like Mariah Carey too. But anyways, so it was was disappointing, you know. And uh, the second part, okay, the the analysis about the performance, the overall performance, you know, it it sounded a little. It it was nice. I mean, it was well produced. If you compare it to to the other Eurovision attractions, it's not, I mean, actually I mean the Eurovision it's visually very good, you know. But I mean, you have the the whole thing there, you know, the whole scenario. It, it it's something almost hot from Hollywood, you know, because it was a whole set. It's not something cheap. It's not something easy, anyways. Only Madonna could bring that the level, anyways. And uh, I think um, I think the first song. The, the, choice, the, the choice for the first song is a classic, I think it was good, you know, I'm talking about the overall performance, all right, I already told, if you're just, if you if you skip to the, the, if you skip the, this video and, and just watching this now, go back, okay, because I'm talking about this singer, I have already done my criticism about it anyways, so the overall performance, okay, the choice, the choice, the like a prayer choice to start, the, the 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 presentation to start the performance was good uh, even though she didn't deliver it that well because that brought the the climate to you know uh, of the whole performance uh, the second part I mean this new song future I rather think I don't as I told I'm very bad for names okay but I know one of the producers produced um, an unapologetic bitch uh f from from the the previous album that everybody i mean everybody's saying that is a bad album for me it's one of the best rebel heart i love it there are loads of good songs on that so he produced an apologetic beat that i love it i love the beat i love it. it's 
it, there is there is this kind of a reggae feeling, you know. They try to re kind of repeat this to um, in this in this track future, but uh, I didn't like maybe that 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 song for another type of performance it could be would be nice. But uh, for Euro Eurovision for that performance, I think was um, a very I, I don't I didn't like the choice in a ways. But I mean, she's promoting her new album, so she just was thinking, you know, to, as a way to promote, you know. But anyways, it's still Madonna, it's still everybody was waiting for something nice to happen. Something, you know, very polemic, or because um, she had been being um, asked to boycott Eurovision because it is in Israel and because of this conflict between Palestinians and Israelis. I'm not going deep into politi politics, okay? I'm too too busy thinking about polit politics in my own country that is a mess anyway, so I'm not going, going deep in this conflict, all right? The message that she was passing, nobody saw. Uh, I'm gonna put here the print. There were two dancers, two dancers of her, one with a, with a Israel's flag and another one with with a Palestine flag and they were hugging, they were embraced going up the stairs uh, side by side and that's the message of peace and I think in the end she's, she turned to the audience and says wake up, so wake up for the peace, wake up to treat each other fairly, you know, to respect to respect each other as a human being, that was the message that I didn't see I didn't see it all because, and then I would then comes to the conclusion of this video. Because of the bad singing, because of the, the bad singing was kicking in, in, on everybody's head. There was a time the camera was panning uh, over the audience, and you could see. I mean, you could see there was a kind of a silence. Everybody was watching, and the, there was a moment that everybody was watching and there was kind of a silence because every every time she was delivering a flat note, everybody was something, I mean, what's going on, you know, what's happening, you know? And uh, that's the problem, that was the problem, because if you're not delivering well, you know, the introduction of a performance, and you know, every, everybody forgets the rest. And that's the problem when you're, when you're I told in the, the previous video that it's not that that's not only about the singer; it's also about the um, the inspiration, the whole performance. So one thing cannot cannot stand without the other thing. So both must work together. All right. So if you don't have a good singer, you don't deliver the the performance. So they they have to work together. You know what I mean? And that's what happens. Everybody missed that message because of the bad singing. You know, everybody. I mean, the thing people are probably are commenting the most now is about her singing. I, I already seen some some videos on YouTube people saying Madonna ruins her career on Eurovision. You know, so and everybody was saying about the performance. Everybody was saying that the four singles that she she. She, I mean, it's not. They are not official. I think only. I think only Madeleine is the, the the official single, but I think that the the rest of them are, are just promotional singles. It's not. They're, they she didn't launch as a, an official singles, uh, but uh, everybody was saying. You know, I mean, I think it was in. I think it was the Guardian. The Guardian posted an article online talking about this and saying, yeah, after four uh, singles that had that have flopped. And uh, a bad performance in those basically saying she ruined uh, her career on Eurovision and that's that's really sad that's really disappointing and uh, so that's that's it I mean that's that's the reason why most of people missed the message so I don't remember I mean I was watching and uh, I was you know seeing those those dancers going up the stairs and uh, I <laughs> My mind was so, oh my god, what happened? Then I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't pay attention, I mean, on those details, you know. Of course, I watched the performance, well, I, I remember I have seen the, those dancers going up and going up, and, uh, but I missed, and I think I read something on Twitter, but I couldn't find anything uh, that I think she's not going to be paid because of, because of, because of this, because of she, she posted that she, 
she put those two dancers with the flex that she didn't that she didn't uh, how can I say during the rehearsals they weren't using those flags and of course Madonna did that on purpose you know so nobody I mean, when I say nobody nobody from Eurovision's organ, um, organization you know nobody there uh, the Eurovision organization they, they weren't aware about that <laughs> so you know that that took everybody by surprise anyways you guys can like or not what I'm saying you know I mean I see a lot of fans really passionate you know passionate about there was a great performance yeah it was it was it was a good overall it was a quite good performance but uh I was expecting I was expecting you know especially the singing you know if she cannot sing live okay but limp sync she, she did that loads of time you know I would rather hear her limp syncing than singing that way that and that's my opinion but I still liking her I still supporting her I don't think her career is ruined, all right? Um, but I think she should, you know, care more about her voice. She was giving this interview um, from one of the Eurovision presenters before the performance, a little bit before the performance, and when, when she was telling us, uh, she was, uh, I think she has been, she had been asked what kind of uh, advice she'd give to the contestants, you know? Um, and she was saying basically, I mean, among all the things she said, um, that we that we shouldn't underestimate the power of the music and music comes you know music and voice voice is part of music our voice is also a musical instrument uh, the conductor of the choir of the Dublin Games chorus Dave Doshe uh, he always tells this you know he always tells this to us you know it's also a musical instrument so if you're, if you're talking about music, to not underestimate music, so it includes your voice. So if you're not underestimate Madonna, if you don't underestimate music, don't underestimate your voice. Okay, your voice, the way it is, uh, regardless all the criticism, all the criticism people uh, and media, you know, did about about your voice, about yourself as a woman, as an artist, you know. It was this voice, you know, among, of course, and com combined with other things, with other factors as well, but uh, also was this voice that brought you where you are, you know, so it was a, a lot of factors combined with your voice, with your music, with your, you know, you're being a smart woman, you know, you have a very good ear for producing, you know. I know you produced a lot of good songs, you know, uh, in the beginning it was very hard for you to stand out as a woman, as a producer, you know, because most of the time people are giving credit only to your male producers. And uh, so, so I know, I know, you know, so, but uh, it, it was everything. And your voice, liking or not, you know, was one of the biggest things, was one of the main things in all this process. So. Don't underestimate your voice, okay? Look after your voice, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to deliver the messages you want anymore, because people are already, people are already, they are just looking for things to criticize you. People will always find a, a reason to hate you. It doesn't matter what you do, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a nice person, it doesn't matter if you're just, I don't know, you see here on YouTube, you know, you see some, some nice videos, some very innocent, innocent videos you know and you see people hating you know so you see a lot of dislikes there so anyways so that's it all right guys so if you like this video don't forget okay give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel ring the bell all right this way you'll be aware every time and upload every time i upload a new video all right and give your honest comment here okay what do you think what do you thought about about her performance on eurovision uh, did you like or not? So, uh, and uh, so if you agree or not with what I said on this video, and uh, see you guys in the next video. Right? So take good care, have a nice day, and see you next time. Bye bye.